Yeah. Hi everybody, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. Very exciting day for us on this remodel we're doing out here at the lake. We're in Lago Vista, Texas, and we're in the crawl space for this house. This is actually a, a two-story home above us, and we've got a pretty large crawl space in this home. This uh, water heater behind us is a brand new product by Rheem. It's called an HP50, and it's a hybrid electric water heater that uses heat pump technology to heat the water most of the time, and it has electric resistance heat as a backup for high demand areas. Pretty neat product. It's a 50 gallon electric water heater, pretty standard on the bottom here. And what they did is they've mated a heat pump to the top. So in this crawl space, this is a perfect application for this uh, product. This crawl space will get hot when it's 100, and, uh, you know, 100, 100 degrees, 102 degrees out here in July. It'll even be a couple degrees hotter than that in this crawl space. And so all that heat in this crawl space, this heat pump back here, is drawing that heat in and compressing that heat and sending that heat basically into this tank here and it's going to be much more efficient than a standard resistance electric water heater. In fact, so much more efficient it's about twice as efficient. My understanding is electric water heaters use about 3000 watts when they're heating uh, the water and this compressor is going to run at about 600 watts uh, when it's compressing and moving that heat from the air, from the ambient air into that water. So look at the energy guide on this pretty incredible. It's so low on the energy guide that it's, there's not even an error on here. It's estimating the annual operating cost is $234 and the lowest number on here is 492. The highest is 531. So these heat pump water heaters that are all electric are twice as efficient an energy factor of 2.0 compared to a standard uh, electric water heater. We're also running this in a pretty neat way in this house. I'll show you uh, a little bit later when the plumbers come to hook this up tomorrow how we're going to run this. But uh, oh, what we're going to do is run this in tandem. So we'll have a standard 50-gallon electric tank and then this tank next so that if they have real high demand areas uh, times of the year, for instance, uh, when they've got family coming to visit them, they've got a great pool out here and a great lake view and a boat here. So there are going to be some times that they're going to need more than what this water heater can keep up with. So they're going to be able to flip a switch in their laundry room, have their standard electric water heater as a backup, and so now they'll be able to store 100 gallons of heated water for those high demand areas flip that off when the company's gone and it's just two of them in the house again and have just this heat pump model going. So I'll show you in a, in a later date how that works, but I'm really excited to get this working. This technology has been around for a while, but uh, Rheem is the first one that I saw to actually have an all-in-one unit. I believe GE has come out with one as well. But uh, for the price, I think these are really hard to beat, and I bet they're going to sell the heck out of these. I'm really excited to get one of these in one of my houses. Thanks for joining me, and please check out the Rheem HB50. I think it's going to be a great unit.